hey, it's time for a sunburn short on a motor or a lack there of a motor. So I don't think I've talked about what motor is actually going to go into this car. As you can see, there's no motor in there right now. This car was actually born as a four-cylinder, four-speed car. And when I got the car, the motor was gone. It was, it was just a rolling shell. Um, to be honest, if this car was more complete, I might have just done a, you know, a straight-up restoration. Rebuild the four-cylinder, rebuild the four-speed, and put it back in there and do a, a true restoration. But since I got it and there was no motor in it at all, I figured I had free reign. Now, it is a real formula, as we've talked about, and I kind of want to, you know, maintain that. So I am going to restore it to look like it was when it was new. You know, the paint and body is going to be original, um, original uh, agate red. And I'm going to do the original graphics back on it that were on it from original. And kind of make it look like it was, you know, when it was new. Um, as for the engine and the interior, interior I want to do basically original. Uh, the dash I will update with modern gauges and instrumentation. Um, wiring, I'm not sure if I'm going to do uh, a, a stock wiring harness out of one of my other cars that I stra uh, scrapped, or if I'm going to do a new wiring harness. I kind of want to do a new wiring harness. It just feels like the right thing to do, but I don't know. I've never wired a car, so... And then what do I want to do with the air conditioning, the heating and air conditioning? I did actually rebuild that entire HVAC box. Um, it's got a lot of new components in it. I cleaned the, uh, the coil that's in there. So it's, it's pretty well ready to go. Um, but I'm thinking maybe vintage air for this. Just again, that just seems like the right thing to do, but that's just, just more money. So what motor are we going to do with this thing? I keep rambling on about everything else. Um, initially, it's gonna get this motor. And this motor and I have a long 30 year history. This motor actually was the original engine that I had in my high school car in, God, 1988, 89, 90, 91, uh, when I graduated high school. This is the motor that I had in that original Sunbird that I had. It is a 327 and it's been bored 40 over since it was rebuilt. Um, I ran this car or this engine from probably 1989 until 1992 or three. And then it spun a bearing, pulled it out, put it on the shelf, and that's where it sat for 25 years. So it's been rebuilt to my original high school specs, as a matter of fact. Um, this is the intake that I had on my car in high school. It's a Torker II, Elderbrock Torker II. Um, I used the same cam. It's got a Competition Cams 280H cam. I think it's got a 480 lift. Uh, 280 duration so a pretty decent cam um, I had an HEI back in high school so I got a new HEI and I actually did have this is not the original Excel I had but I had an Excel HEI super coil on that engine in high school too so this thing's been rebuilt exactly to my high school specs because it was supposed to go into a different car and that that fell through so here it is it's gonna go into the formula initially long term I do want to do an LS LS six speed is my original was my original plan. So eventually that's what we'll do. But until then, this 327 will live in the formula. So thanks for watching. Oh, one one more thing. This 327 and I have a long history, I said, right? When it was in my high school car, I had a flex fan on it. And no shroud, because I was 18 and I was a dummy. Well, one day I reached in to get the prop rod with the engine running wasn't looking and stuck my fingers right into that fan blade so yeah my I can't close my hand all the way my knuckles kind of kind of chewed up so don't do that kids